This, this, is, this is handing me a huge gift as a teacher. It makes my job so much easier. The gift that Kevin Willis is referring to is the solar panel living lab installed at Desert Vista as a part of the Tempe Union High School District Sustainability Initiative. Each of the seven high schools in the district has access to the data from each of the living labs through a dashboard system, a website that updates information as often as every 15 minutes. Students then have access to this real-world data that can be used in various classroom applications. As Mr. Willis explains, it's all about students getting involved. It's huge. And so we're looking for ideas where students will be more engaged in the lesson. We try to get them out of their seat more. More um, of an application where they're like, hey, wow, this math really does apply to you know, some things in life that I'm somewhat interested in. What we have to do, especially with Common Core Standards coming out, is pique their interest pique some, their interest in things that are real life to them. And that's what this did. This is real time, and this helps students with their depth of knowledge. It makes it easy for me as a teacher. Senior Jason Kramer explains how the Living Lab data is used in the classroom. To present this information, I pulled up the Smart Board, and on that we can kind of click around to the different tabs it has under the Living Labs. And we first looked at the pictures of the, the actual solar panels on top of Desert Vista. Then we can look at charts and graphs that um, will show its irradiance, uh, the temperature of the solar panel, and both inverters and how much electricity they're pulling in. And that can be used to create charts, graphs, and a lot of other information. The lesson also led to spontaneous opportunities for additional learning. Someone asked in class, well, you know, that energy, what, what will it do with one of these, you know, lights up in the ceiling? So I got a chair and undid the light and, you know, we looked at it and realized, oh, one of these lamps is 29 watts. And, you know, I said, hey, there's four, let's do a little math. And my kids just took off with it. It was just, it was nuts. But the student engagement didn't end in the classroom. It actually extended beyond the class period. I had students coming in the next day that said, hey, Willis, look, I finished out gathering data for the whole day yesterday. And check this out, you know, at, at this time I was, you know, we had this huge cloud burst came over DV and, you know, and they looked at the data and said, hey, I modeled that. And I had students kind of playing around with, they were out at their air conditioning unit at their house, figuring out, you know, the kilowatts that their, um, their air conditioning unit at their house used and were kind of crunching the numbers. I sit in math class a lot and always think about when, when am I ever going to use this again? And it was great being able to see that lesson because we were seeing real world data that could be shown right there. I liked seeing how um, it can be used as a lesson and then also how it can be used in the real world. But I also saw other students taking it upon themselves and getting excited about uh, sustainability initiatives, especially in solar panel. So that was the first lesson I've seen students go above and beyond just the plain homework. So it's a great thing to see. Jason also describes how the living lab can be used in other subject areas. And then you could take it into science classes and talk about the impact that it's having and why it's so beneficial. And then you could also take it into English class and say, write a five paragraph essay on why solar panels are, are coming along and what applications they have for the future. So what are the next steps Mr. Willis will take with the Living Lab in his classroom? The, the next thing I want to do is I love, we're going to collect data at the end of the school year as summer starts coming around. We're going to make big comparisons. But what I'd really like to do is I want to find a way, and I know it's difficult, to get my students up on the roof of that cafeteria. I want them to actually see this equipment that's up there. And that's our, that's our next goal. Um, we just have to find the time to do it. <laughs> well, I think as more teachers kind of build into this and try more um, lesson plans with the sustainability uh, tools that students will want to try to take classes that revolve around this a little bit more and do have more real world examples, not just here's a textbook and let's do a couple busy work worksheets. I'm Becca Smouse with TUTV.